winners, welcome back to some more Mass Effect 2. And last we played, we did a mission, scanned some planets, and now, hey guys, how you doing? Now we are going to, or did we do two missions? We might have done two, I'm not sure. I think we only did one. And then we arrived on here, which is Ilium. And we should go talk to it. I want to talk to Garrus. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. All right, I trust you. It's cool looking though. Nice. Yeah, I probably wouldn't sign shit. Okay. What? Talk to Jack. Where? Talk. A quiet candlelight vigil is planned for hostages who died during the Batarian attack on Terra Nova. Reverend Michael Bowman. 25. What? Cell at 25. No, no, no. I want We're to talk to Jack. Up. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Jack. Come on, come on. Give me oh, it's over there. Okay. Sorry. You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. <coughs> I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Who is it? I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build, but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I would say stop controlling her, but I've seen that outcome. So, are you on Ilium? I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Where are Rachni encounter? How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship. And I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. How'd you get back? You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. And the pirates? What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Sorry's purpose. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. That sounds too easy. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Rachni location. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. 
Yeah, meaning of message. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. You mean the Reapers? She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thanks for the message. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. All right. That was interesting. I want to talk to Jack. I don't know what I was asking you to see, but... Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. They're not soft, just unconcerned. They only flaunt what they can afford to lose. Alright. Why would you flaunt what you can afford to lose? Gianna... Okay. Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news <laughs> said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You oh. helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Right, it's my pleasure. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. Yep. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. I'm pretty sure she was the receptionist. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Um... I'm hitting the Collectors. <laughs> you ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Uh... That was sketch. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I gotta go. Talk to you later? And don't forget to drink your beer. What? Beer. Oh. Sketch. I like it. Shepard. Had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Asari merchant smuggling schematics of, from Nuveria. Can you talk her into showing you the good stuff? Probably. Where'd the target go? Somewhere over here. Alright. I'm just gonna, like, kind of run around the whole place. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. We're gonna talk. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. That Feel voice. free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. I'm a big spender. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. Special items? What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I want advanced merchandise. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. Damn. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. What about the schematic? Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. All right. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Good luck. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Damn. Ah, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Okay. Now I'll talk to you. Why not? Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. 
Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So <laughs> ageless and so That senior. sounds so bad. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. You love doing this? It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. <laughs> Gianna's history. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. Gianna's plans. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Undercover work. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Do you enjoy it? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. <laughs> that wasn't weird at all. All right. So, plus nine to Paragon House, yes. I need minimal heat increase. Eh? And Biotic damage. I have extremely high performance requirements. Um, yeah, why not? Yes. Bypass modula. Oh, for like, if I failed? Uh, oh, there's some unhackable unha locks. Fuck, might as well take some. And meta gel capacity. Why not? I have this. I have everything. It's cool. Alright, actually save. Because if I accidentally do Miranda's mission, I'm going back. So. Wait. Which way do I go? Um. Uh. This is a suspicious store. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Solarian? Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Are you talking to me? Excuse me, I'm on an Oh. I was super confused. Okay. Shipping lanes near Omega were recently hit by a series of deadly raids. Merchant fleets are being asked to resynchronize their IFF protocols. Alright. Well, I can go up. Serena? Let's talk to Serena. Serena? Sorry, I'm busy right now. I guess we can't, so never mind. I keep getting a shit ton of texts. That's not weird at all. Okay. Can we go up this way? Here's some sketchy people. Okay, so we can only go in this one door. Hope it's Liara. Cause, oh yeah, transportation, right? Maybe not, I don't remember. The council thought that Blasto, the first NR Spectre, would play by the rules. This one is for yeah, the they don't. Follow. Trust Oops. me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. Am I? I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Totally thought I was in the same spot, but I'm not. Okay. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good? The store's over there. And don't get cute. What about you? Damn. Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might so well heavy them, right? skin weave. Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. Health. I actually should probably buy that. Alright. Uh, assault rifle. I don't know what I use. 
uh, using their expertise in policing dangerous situations, increases power damage by 50%. Oh, it's barely anything. Do it. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on this. Just because I don't know what I use. It's not sniper rifle. All blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil. I'm gonna talk to you. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. <laughs> Teen, you know. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> Reason for breakup. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, Damn. No offense. <laughs> it made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. Did you talk to him? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Aww. Reason for dating. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You should make a decision. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. I'd say you should take him back. He sounds like a sweetheart. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. True. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, like he can't hear all this. A discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Oh, thanks, but too late. But cool. All right. What about a fish? Sweet. She loves the garden. We could add a pond. I want a she pond. Need a fish, Dad. I want a fish. Maybe a shirt or a car. All right. So save. Yes. All right. It's just we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Uh, hey, I'm not sketch at all. I'll talk to that sorry in a second. You know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scar? No, I what? haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. What? I'm going to call in a favor. Marina. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Okay, well, let's... Let's talk to this Asari, because maybe, a, who knows? Get a fucking discount again. Not the wrong area, I know it though. Damn. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise. Sketch. Okay. I'm on a call. Yeah, a very sketchy call. Okay, you I guess there's nothing else I can do here. So I guess I'm going systems. back. Everything's dangerous. This place is so sketch. Okay. Hey, Vest, how you doing? Go away. So I was down there. So I'm not supposed to go this way. Cool deal. Not bad. Alright. I can never find people in areas like this. You guys saw me on the Citadel. It's really sad. Okay. Save. I'm probably going the wrong way anyway, because they said downstairs. Would it be? Garrus. I love you, but get out of the way. Okay, let's.
let's go to administration. Because I don't think I'm supposed to go over there. I don't know. Talk to you. Huh. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What do you do here? You're Liara's assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Do people respect her? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Of course. Okay. Liara! Yes! Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Damn. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. <sighs> Shepard. That was cute. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Same here. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. You are informed, but come with me. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What things? Do you need help? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No. No trouble. But it's been a long <sighs> two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Oh. Listen. Sketch. If you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Just tell me what's going on. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Why do you need my help? Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. I'll see what I can do. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there if you hurry. Shit. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Also, Samara. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. She's being tracked? Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thane. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. I've heard of that. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. You just knew that? That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of mm -hmm. intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. <laughs> That's enough questions. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How are you? How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. I'll see what I can do. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one... Okay, we already said thank that. Thank you, Shepard. 
This may help me pay a great debt. All right. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay, talk to Serena, but or somebody else. No Sastra has recently Transport received of. an unexpected visitor in the form of a rare Jessica okay. calling herself Samara. Samara denied our request for an interview. Damn. So I need to hack terminals. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I don't know how I'm gonna do this. That's galactic news. Let's see what I can find. Um, is there anything technology? Do you have anything flashier? Uh, I never went up here. Actually, I should save. I didn't think about that until just now, just in case. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to actually help uh, Miranda, but okay. Whoa! We'll figure something out. Dancer, talk. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Free your slave now. Except she won't, but... I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. <laughs> Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. What if... What if I bought her? Uh, Quarian slave. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. Damn. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Oh, but... Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. Problem with court. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So hold on to her. Why not just keep oh. her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. Legal slavery. So slavery is legal on Ilium. We already went through this. Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What if I bought her? What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. Holy shit. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Uh, I'll try to help. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. I don't know how I can talk to them, but sure. Oh. So then he says, oh, Her. it's okay. I'll rub. Can I help you with something? Would you like a Quarian? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. 
To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. This would be good business. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring Miss Corian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarrying and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarrying, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarrying had better be good, though. I hope so. That would be awkward. Good, I helped her. Yay, let's talk to them. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. No problem. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. You'd best, girly. You'd best. Uh... You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. Uh I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. <laughs> Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. True. Just enjoy the dance, buddy. Enjoy it. Uh, bartender. Welcome to Eternity. Whoa. I'm Athena, sorry matriarch, and bartender. Matriarch, really? What can I get you? You're an sorry matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Yeah, mother. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. That's fine. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Parents and worse. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. And then? What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. <laughs> it turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Wow. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Damn, father. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah. When he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me? I go for asses. <laughs> when I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Long lifespan. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. <laughs> and one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. All right. Uh, working at a bar. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Damn. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. 
Catch you anything else? No, thanks. Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Thank you. Alright. So I'm gonna save. And you guys will see what happens in the next episode. So, I hope you guys are winning at life, and I'll see you then. Bye, winners.